It's hard to really say what those are because, you know, the memories that I, I want to keep are all about the people that I've met here and the relationships that I've built, and they're not few. You know, I have many of those, uh, and I could probably talk for hours about them, but man, the people here are great. The atmosphere at UW and just the day-to-day, -day, um, it's, it's, sometimes you don't appreciate it at the time, but um, looking back, like, just being here, living nearby, kind of like this giant community here, I think that's what I'll miss the most. Classes are great, but yeah, really getting to know all the knowledge that you get and all of the different experiences you have from meeting people, very diverse groups of people, and learning about their experiences is just really something that I will definitely cherish. What I have, have liked the best is riding home on my bike from the libraries late at night, like at 12 or 1 in the morning, uh, through the quad, because it's totally silent and the bricks make these really cool noises when you ride over them on a bike because they kind of chatter they, when you're going through them, and you can't hear that during the day. And everyone has these fantastic opportunities in front of them, and everyone's kind of excited to see where, where their lives are going to take them. And uh, there's, there's just this, this like, palpable energy of, of uh, education that's really cool. This campus, honestly, I think it's like the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. Like, out of, I've been in quite a few college campuses, but the UW campus is by far the prettiest one, and I'll definitely miss it the most when I leave. The most important thing I learned is that there are no absolute right and wrongs, that there are a million different people with a million different opinions, and that uh, it's really silly to think that you're the one with the right one. The most important thing that I learned here was how to ask a question. You know, I thought I knew how to do that when I was younger, but I really had no, no concept of what a question really entailed, how to build it, you know, how to support the question, and really how to direct it uh, towards a set of answers that you're really interested in. I really learned how to critically think about my surroundings and things that I read in the media, or just information that I get from people when people spout off facts. I really, I think the UW has helped me to really think about that and think of what, where it's coming from, who's saying it, why they're saying it, what agenda they have, and how I can think about it using evidence, not only um, academic evidence, but evidence from just empirical evidence. The most important thing I've learned so far is don't count on anyone except yourself. <laughs> you've got to, you've got to uh, grab it by the horns. That's. That's the lesson. <laughs> I learned that your degree means nothing. It's all what you make it. So at the end of the day, the piece of paper you get is useless unless you have the skills to back it up. And so it's up to you to get those skills. Class of 2010, congratulations. Enjoy life and do well. Congratulations, guys. I hope to be there someday. <laughs> congratulations, 2010. Good luck. Yeah, congratulations 2010, you did it! Yeah! Congratulations class of 2010! Yay, you're done! <laughs> congratulations class of 2010, you made it! <laughs> On behalf of the College of Arts and Sciences, congratulations to the class of 2010. You're part of the Arts and Sciences family. So today is an end, but it's also a beginning of a relationship that I hope will last a very, very long time. I think everything comes together at UW. Like, the campus is beautiful, and I love my professors, and I love the people here, but it's like more than, going here is like more than going to school, if that makes sense. It's kind of like, I moved to Seattle, and I love the city, and I love the people, and it's like a lifestyle, and that makes me proud to be a Husky.